everyone, this is Julie with CricutChirp.com and I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on these cute uh, tissue boxes. I have a lot of friends that are sick so I thought these would be great gifts and I've seen some tutorials like this already on YouTube so get some inspiration. I found these cute Valentine's tissue boxes at Joann's. So let's get started. I'll show you another one I made. So you're going to start out with four and a half by 12 pieces cardstock. There you go. I use the tissue as a guide to figure out this template. It's pretty easy to figure out. I'm going to start out by scoring at one inch. And then you figure this out by looking here how wide this is, but it ends up being two and a half inches from the one inch. So that's going to be three and a half here. And then you're going to do an inch, so that's going to put us at four and a half. And then you're going to do two and a half more inches, so that's going to put us at seven. <laughs> and you're going to do an inch, it's going to put us at eight. So you see where we're at. What are we doing? So it's going to give us the bottom of the box. So you see where we are. And we're going to do another one, two and a half inches. So that's going to put us at ten and a half. What I'm going to do, I like to use border punch, just, just going to cut off about, oh, let's see how much this is, it's about a half an inch. And this kind of depends on how big your border punch is too, as to how much you're going to be cutting off. folds together and gives it a nice border in the front. And then to get your inside portion where you pull your tissue, you can use a number of different punches on the Bless Your Little Heart when I used a heart punch to go with the theme. I'm going to use